Yo sé de alguien que tiene mucho poder. Es que quiere matar a Pablo tanto como yo. Quiero ver muerto. Escobar's got a lot of enemies. Pablo has been hunted by basically everyone. Little by little, his empire starts crumbling down. Anyone with Wikipedia knows that Pablo Escobar is going to die. Pablo Escobar has escaped from prison, and the window of his lifespan is much closer to being closed. This season is very much about the physical and emotional collapse of Pablo Escobar. It was tough for Wagner. Little by little, he's left alone. And that's a big burden for an actor. His discipline with his work is amazing. It's interesting watching this man's world get smaller and smaller, particularly in the hands of an actor like Wagner. So his performance is staggering. We did the final scene in Medellin. It's the house. We approached it as realistically as possible. Wagner did his own stunts. We wanted to be very energetic, to have a gritty realism. And we wanted just to create a sense of urgency. We didn't want to make a big Hollywood action sequence. We wanted to make it intense and, and disturbing. We ended up shooting in real house where Pablo was living, with right beside where he was killed. Viva Colombia! Viva! This is where it happened. This is the real place. Steps away from where Pablo Escobar was killed. What that does to the filmmakers and the actors and everyone involved is it brings this reverence. Paulina Garcia, as Pablo's mother, runs towards her son's body and it was really emotional. It was really powerful. It was superb. We had goosebumps. She got a very big round of applause. I think the people are just ready for that kind of authenticity and that would not be achieved if we weren't here. We really try to make it as accurate with what happened as possible. We were always very concerned to be as respectful as we could with the Colombian history. So are you a big movie fan? Well, I've got some interesting movie facts for you. Did you know that over 90% of American movies made before 1929 are lost? No copies are known to exist. Now that's a big shame. Okay, now think about the movie The Godfather. It's all about the mafia, no? Well, the word mafia is never mentioned in the film because the actual mafia demanded it. This next one is really interesting. Did you know that Pulp Fiction, uh, Forrest Gump, the Shawshank Redemption and the re-release of Jurassic Park were all in theaters at the same time in October of 1994? Now, that would have been a hard choice uh, of what to watch or you would have had a busy month at the cinema. The first one I would have seen was Pulp Fiction. What about you? Which one of these was or still is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. See you next time.